there are a lot of forces trying to get people to become rather apathetic towards other people's plights here on YouTube, in internet culture in general, social media, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Tumblr. Lots of push for people to be apathetic. And then there's the other side, that's the other extreme, trying to shove forth that we need to be paranoid and worried about every little thing that we do. We've got these two extreme sides, and they're both pretty silly. And the side, and the side that thinks that they think about other people's stuff fail to care about those that are in the majority. And the ones who claim they're being realistic fail to care about the minority. So we've got these two battling factions in internet culture and very little that's in the center. And there have been many times where I have given into the peer pressure of either side. And I'm just kind of done with that. At almost 43, I shouldn't be giving in to peer pressure. But that's what I've been doing. Because a lot of this internet culture is very high school in the way that, that things are gone about. It's very high school. I think about how I felt about the Syrian refugees for a while there. I was sort of taking the a bit of the uh, Stefan Molyneux route of things. And it's like, I'm not going to think about other people's plights and just kind of... I mean, these are people trying to flee from from extremism. Then there's all this push for me to not, for people to not be able to uh, relate or empathize with the Black Lives Matter movement. And there are obviously some assholes in the movement, just like there are some assholes in every movement. There are assholes everywhere. There are good people everywhere. Now, when it comes to feminism, I, th I do think that it has met most of its goals, or its original goals. My main beef with feminism is still this aspect of the way that objectification is looked at, and the whole... Um, attempts to give new definitions of harassment. And I'm not into that. But there are a lot of things that, that feminists talk about that if you look at what they're actually trying to say, but they, they always say it poorly. They always... Cho they, sociology chooses these, these new words or new phrases or they try to redefine words to where it, it muddies up the language to where we, we, we can't talk about anything really and not get anywhere anyway. And one is expected to completely toe the line of an ideology. I mean, this, 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 this also goes on the other side too. 
We're supposed to toe the line of the, uh, of the anti-feminists. Well, you better toe the line of the anti-feminists or toe the line of the feminists. You better toe the line of the religious people or toe the line of the strong anti-theists. Peer pressure. Lots of peer pressure. Usually between... If there's an axis, if there's you know, any two polar opposites, the truth is usually somewhere in the middle. And there's so much of the pressure to, to, from either side saying, well, no, one side is more right than the other. Well, let me decide that for myself. But I'm... I'm sick of all this peer pressure all the time. I'm sick of these expectations. I'm sick of how toxic internet culture can be. It's tiresome. But it's good to see it for what it is. So, you know, you, I've always been a very, I don't know, hippy-dippy sort of person. Always. And that element of me has never really fully changed. Sometimes, I've, again, I've given into some of the sides of peer pressure. Where, again, it's like, it's like between, well, total apathy or feel bad about yourself empathy or total apathy and empathy except towards the majority I'm not going for that We're all people. We are all part of the human experience, the human condition. We could all end up being in an awful situation. In my last video, some people are giving me a hard time because, well, there's other exceptions, too, to what you say. Okay, fine, there are other exceptions to it. There's people that are autistic. There are people who just generally, for whatever reason, have social anxiety. And I've had social anxiety in the past. It's usually around big crowds. But if I'm alone and someone starts, comes up to me and starts talking to me, for me, that doesn't make me anxious. There are some people who do. But I would have thought that people would figure out that there, there are exceptions to everything. And, and that's one of the things that, that's been very irritating over the years that I've made these videos, is someone always comes up and, and says, well, there are these exceptions, and then they basically d try to declare, well, therefore, your entire video is invalid, because there's these exceptions. That shit gets old. That shit gets really old. And if you come onto some of my videos and start hounding me because there's these exceptions, and I say, well, yes, there are these exceptions. Why is that so important to mention? And you're going to keep hounding me and hounding me and hounding me. I'm not going to want to listen anymore. In fact, if you keep hounding me on this stuff, when you know that it's supposed to be a generalized thing to try to reach as wide of an audience as possible, 
You know, but you're going to keep hounding me? You're going to find yourself blocked. And this isn't because I have a problem with different viewpoints. It's because I have a problem with being guilt-tripped. I'm not going to be guilt-tripped on shit. I'm not. You want to guilt trip someone? Find someone else. And you know, the guilt trips come from just about any side. It comes from the people that are apathetic towards everything, and it comes from the people that think that they're empathetic towards everything, but uh, want to shit all over the majority of people. You got guilt trips coming from all sides. And you know what? I'm not going to put up with them. Mention that there's an exception and call it good. Don't sit there and carry it out for fucking forever. Alright? So, I guess this is just me ranting. But I'm not going to change my hippie tendencies. I do believe in love. As cheesy as that phrase sounds. I believe that we are capable, much more capable of love than we would like to believe, or that we think. And yeah, there's a lot of shit going on in the world, and people are doing a lot of shitty things. The only place that we can really start to make this more of a place full of love is by the way we individually treat others. We can't expect to just say something and suddenly everyone else is, oh, well, everything's lovely now. No, it's not going to be that way. So.